so hi everybody today i will i would like to talk about um, ip fragmentation mechanism so what is ip fragmentation and how it works so actually um, I, I will talk about the ip fragmentation that has been defined in rfc uh, 5791 um, so you know you uh, you know that um, an ip packet uh, the, the maximum length of an ip packet is uh, 64 kilobyte but you cannot transmit this uh, 64 kilobyte through the transmission link uh, every transmission link has a maximum um, uh, has the capacity of a maximum packet that it can transmit for example ethernet ip version uh, ethernet version 2 uh, can transmit maximum 1500 byte so if you try to give a packet larger than the, larger than um, uh, the 1500 byte then uh, that will be dropped so um, to overcome this problem ip provides a functionality is called fragmentation so what it does actually when a big packet comes then it divides the packet into a smaller uh, packet then it sends uh, that packet now um, let's um, show you how IP fragmentation works. So before doing this, I would like to t talk uh, um, about the IP header actually because IP packet contains a header which contains some information that is necessary to know where to give the packet and what to do with this packet. And an IP packet, um, the header of an IP packet is actually um, uh, 20 bytes and um, it contains the version which version of the ip it contains the length of the header and uh, some other information but for fragmentation what we need actually is um, the total length of the packet and the identification number um, actually identification number is used to identify um, that uh, the groups of the packets that is uh, belong to the same packet that means when a packet is fragmented into a set of a smaller packets um, and then this uh, smaller packets should contain one information which identify that these um, groups belong together and which is uh, done by identification which is which is actually 16 bits and flux contains the control information uh, like um, that whether this is the first fragment or this is the last uh, fragment and so on and fragmentation offset actually the offset or the information that is necessary uh, to tell that uh, a fragmented pack the position of a fragmented packet in the uh, original packet so and uh, source address identifies the uh, the uh, the host that uh, produces this packet and destination address identifies uh, the host um, of the destination so uh, now actually this uh, uh, total length identification plus fragmentation source address and destination address are used for fragmentation and now I will show you how uh, with an example how IP frag uh, how, how IP pack how a, an IP packet is fragmented So here is the example. You see an original original IP packet, which um, has the sequence. It uh, has the an identifier identifier which identifies this packet, and the total length of the packet, which is 4,460 byte, mm, and BF actually don't fragment bit. When it is assigned to zero, that means that it may fragment and one means that uh, it will not fragment and mf means more fragment when it is assigned to one that means that mm, it it contains more fragmented uh, packet or uh, more fra fragmented packet will come in sequence and uh, geo means that there is this is the last fragmented packet and uh, fragmentation offset identifies um, the the position of this packet in the original packet which is necessary to reassemble the packet 
so um, if you want to reassemble this smaller units what you need is actually that wire to place in the original packet and this fragmentation offset is necessary uh, to which identifies the position uh, of this packet into the original packet and now you see that uh, this 4460 byte we cannot send uh, through uh, by using ethernet version 2 so what we need to do is to divide this packet into a smaller packet and that's what is done here so now of course we need to identify we need to have identifier uh, also to tell that uh, what is the original packet and uh, 1500 is the byte is the length of the packet and zero means that uh, okay it may fragment that means um, it's a fragmentation is done here and one is more fragment that means that it contains more fragmented packet and zero is the fragmentation uh, fragmentation offset because this is the first packet but if we see here in the second packet you see that it contains identifier uh, 90 also the same as before and the total length of the packet is, is still 1500 and um, but here it contains more fragmented and uh, now i would like to talk about this fragmentation offset this is 185 so when a packet is 1500 byte then uh, actually it contains 20 bytes of header and if you subtract these 20 bytes of header from 1500 byte then you will get the original size of the packet that is 1480 byte so and um, so now here it's written 185 so this is actually if you multiply by 8 then you get actually 1480 bytes that means the position of this packet is in the original packet um, uh, 1480 because in this case here uh, um, it contains 20 byte of header and uh, so if you subtract uh, 20 byte from here that means that that this packet should start from the uh, 1481 byte and then so the similar way the another fragmentation is done here and another thing is here you see that the, um, this is the last fragment and that is why the more fragmented bit is zero here and um, this way fragmentation is done in IP um, uh, original version that has been defined in RFC 791 that's all for today. If you have any questions, just ask me. Thanks.